Catch us up on entangled particles. Well, this is part of this fact that we said before that there's not a separate quantum wave function for every individual thing in the universe. There's only one wave function for all of them at once. And what the wave function tells us is the probability of observing something. So if you have two particles, and let's say they have positions, you don't know where it is. In fact, literally, when something like the Higgs boson decays, decays into an electron and a positron, the anti-electron, and you say, well, what direction are they going in? And the answer is they're both going in all directions. Their wave functions are coming out sort of in a spherical pattern. But then when you observe Observing. one of them, that's where it is, and, and momentum is conserved. So now you know the other, the other one's one is going so in exactly. Exact, uh, so you know where the other uh -huh, one is without having detected it yet. Uh -huh. That's entanglement. So what entangles them? The rules of physics. And in fact, I don't like the word entanglement because it kind okay. of... It, it makes it hard to update your intuition. It makes it sound like what really exists are these two particles right. and you measure one and then you're like, mm -hmm. why did the other one change? If you just accept that what exists is the combined quantum state of everything in the universe, then it's no surprise at all that when you look at a little bit of it, it affects the rest. 